I tried Star Citizen for the first time more than two years ago, I was totally lost. I had no clue what to do or where to go. And to be clear, I couldn't even find how to retrieve my ship at the time. Maybe you want to play Star Citizen, but you are lost the way I was. Or you want to give Star Citizen a go, but you are a little bit turned off by the apparent complexity of the game. Well, then this video is here to help and guide you through your first steps in Star Citizen. This is the first episode of a series dedicated to newcomers, so don't hesitate to subscribe if you want to learn more about the game. I'm Serre Blanc, and welcome to this new Star Citizen video. As with every game, the start of your gaming journey begins with a game purchase. For Star Citizen, you will have to open your brother and go on robertspaceindustries.com slash pledge. Okay, so you might find this already confusing, isn't it? You want to play Star Citizen, so why this game's page would be called robertspaceindustries.com instead of Star Citizen, you may ask. Well, this domain name is a reference to Chris Roberts, who is the CEO and main brain behind Star Citizen. Also, RSI, for Robert Space Industries, is the ship brown in-game. Lastly, Star Citizen is still at an alpha stage of its development. That means that people who buy the game are considered backers, which refers to the term pledge used in the URL. Once you reach Game Packages page, you can already see some available ships and some prices. And, as you can observe, some of these prices are very steep. So, let's debunk some of the bad buzz you may have heard about Star Citizen. You are not required to pay thousands of dollars to enjoy the game. This really isn't the reality of Star Citizen. To be able to play the game, what you really need is called the Game Package, which mainly contains a starter ship, some in-game credits, and an access to Star Citizen. The cheapest game package available has a price pretty similar to any other game which is, depending on your location and tax system, about 60 USD. Keep in mind that all the ships in Star Citizen can be earned in-game, so really, you don't have to be that rich to play this game at its full potential. So, what ship to choose, you may ask? Well, the cheapest ships of the bunch are pretty similar, to be honest. The Mustang Alpha is a bit more combat capable compared to the Aurora MR, which has the advantage of having an internal bed that is supposed to matter at some point, but who knows how things are always subject to change in Star Citizen. I don't think you can go wrong with either ship, but if I had to choose, maybe I would go for the Mustang. As you can see, you also have the temporary offer on the Drake Cutter, which is a slightly superior ship with a much better interior compared to the other two. I would suggest to choose the Cutter since it's slightly better, but the Mustang or Aurora are perfectly capable to start with. A quick note about Star Citizen Referral Program. During the checkout process, you will be able to enter a referral code. If you use mine, you will be able to get an extra 5000 in-game credits to start your adventure. If you would like to use mine, you can find it in the video description below. Once your game package is bought, you can simply update the URL by slash download to access the download page of Star Citizen. Once you're done, install RSI Launcher, log in, and let's play. Congrats, you've made it! Welcome to the verse! As you can see, you have two modules available, Persistent Universe and Arena Commander. We will just choose to start our journey on Persistent Universe, which is what Star Citizen is all about. The next step is to create your character. Note that once you are done, you cannot edit it anymore, unless you go to your account on the RSI website and request for a character reset. Please note that if you do so, you may lose all your progress and in-game money, ships and so on. 
Once your character is done, you will be asked if you want to follow the tutorial. Make sure not to accept it or you will not be able to keep up with my videos, for the simple reason that this tutorial takes place on a different planet than the one shown in my videos. Then choose Stanton system, which is currently the only system available. We will have Pyro system soon, but it's not ready yet. And then we will choose the city called New Babbage. Choose the server that corresponds to your location. In my case, it's Europe. Finally, set New Babbage as your primary residence and it will become your default spawn location. Welcome to New Babbage. Let's start with some basic FPS movement. As suggested on the right side of your screen, you can press X to leave prone position or simply move forward. Using F4 key, you will be able to switch the camera. To interact with things around you, simply press F and hold it. It will allow you to interact with things like objects, doors, terminal screens, crates, bodies, many kind of stuff. You can adjust your speed using the mouse wheel and you can sprint holding shift. Anytime you spawn for the first time in Star Citizen, you will spawn at the main city of the planet you chose. And right now we are at the planet Microtech on the main city called New Babbage. And the first thing you do once you get out of your hub is that you find the elevator and go straight to the lobby. In big cities you have access to various shops so it's very practical but the purpose of this guide today is to show you how to retrieve your ship as quick as possible because it's one of the first actions you will do anytime you connect to the game. The way the places are designed is that you have to find and follow the signs. So what you are looking for now is the Metro Loop access, which is basically the transportation that will make you reach the place where he stored your ship. And now, let's go to the spaceport. With F12, you can show the chat and you can say hi. And if you don't want to show the chat, you can just hide it by pressing F12 again. Just follow the signs, really. And finally, we arrived with the spaceport. What we want now is to reach the hangar area. Access to yellow terminal, select your ship and request delivery. So we choose the drag cutter that corresponds to our game package. Don't mind all the ships I have in my list, it's because I've been playing for a while. The very first delivery of your ship will be instant. Now our drag cutter is delivered to New Avage, so we can retrieve it and we will be assigned a hangar. If you don't remember to what hangar to go after you left the terminal, then simply find the marker of your ship and it will be indicated. 
to access the hangar, just use the elevators that are located right next to the yellow terminals. And hangar 3. And here is the Drake Cutter. Don't mind the open hangar door, it's not supposed to be open already, so yeah, just ignore it. I'm sure you will love your first ship, it will be your partner in crime, it will be your home, and my opinion is that your first ever ship always has a special place in your heart. I know sometimes life can be tough. Always take a bit of time to play with your ship, visit it, play with the buttons and understand what it does or what it doesn't. Once you are in the cockpit, press U to turn on the system so you are ready to go. Now you can access your Moby Glass using F1, then go to France and request for takeoff. At that point, the hangar doors will open. As you can see, they are already open, I guess due to a kind of bug. But that's okay, you can fly, my friend. You can retract your gears by pressing N. And now, the verse is yours. And this concludes the first episode. In the next one, I will explain you how to use the star map, how to quantum travel, how to reach your first base station, and how to land safely and improve your flight skill. So keep in touch, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the verse, my friends.